We all rely on police to stop crime. But when crime does happen, it can be appalling, especially if someone ends up hurt or even dead. But how do the people who solve crime go about it? A murder has occurred in this building. These crime scene investigators must very carefully ensure no evidence is unsettled, no foreign material brought in, absolutely nothing changed. So will these investigators follow procedure, or will they jeopardise the case? This is the victim. That's the murder weapon there. It appears that an attacker entered through this door, ran up, threw him off his chair, and stabbed him repeatedly to his left side while he was working on this laptop here. We'll have to keep that for data files. Looks like this is going to be a big job, so you need to get Inspector Daniels down here and you need to tape around the body. Thank you. This will light some pictures of the scene. Right. Yep. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, that's yeah, just a picture that you want. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. He hasn't taken nearly enough photographs to create an accurate picture of the scene. Careful, the knife's there. Very gruesome looking. Mm, it's got a serrated edge there. Yeah. Mm, nasty. One of the investigators has touched and moved a piece of evidence without bagging and sealing it or analysing it. Here's the blood splatter. Hey, oh. Mmm. Blood. It's quite thick. Mmm. Very Maybe dark. Left here for a while. Yeah, it looks, yes. it looks a little bit... Left to almost ferment. <laughs> An investigator has smudged a blood stain. This could ruin a blood spatter expert's calculations and disrupt fingerprints. Okay. Looks like it might have evaporated a little bit. Yeah, it's probably fine. Um, right. What do we have over here? This... Oh, yeah, I don't think it matters, but I don't know. That's like a nice radio. He's just ignored important evidence. Yeah, it's quite cool. Yeah. Retro. Um, here's the um, piece of fabric that was... Uh, yes. Um, it's off the attacker. It, had a, it has a green pattern on it, which the other shirt didn't have. Yeah. So if you can see here, it actually has a tiny amount of blood, which could Ooh. actually be the attackers. Could, could be. And it's a grey cotton, yeah. On a piece of evidence that could be moved, he chooses to examine it instead of collecting it for analysis. That means that more accurate lab tests could be sacrificed due to damage on the object for analysis. Looks like this lab could have been used. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. He's just coughed without adequately covering it, or, even better, leaving the scene. This leaves his DNA at the scene. Right, yeah. And, um, uh, well, I think that will be all. It appears that, uh, our work here is done. to his left side while he was working on this laptop here. We'll have to keep that for data files. 
looks like this is going to be a big job, so you need to get Inspector Daniels down here, and you need to tape around the body. Thank you. Inspector Daniels will be here in one hour, and he will like some pictures of the scene. Make sure the door is photographed. That should be sufficient. Right, that's the that's the weapon. Right. And uh Inspector Hill will have informed you of the events that occurred. Here is the mud. After he'd already fallen on the ground, this is, and then he must have been stabbed like that in that direction for the blood to splatter out there. Thank you, Inspector Daniels. When we entered the scene, the radio wasn't on, but we believe that it could have been touched by the criminal. So we'll try to lift some fingerprints off that. And these fibres belonged to the attacker and were ripped off them after the assault. I see. Right. Excellent. Could you put this in storage, Daniels? Thank you. The exit's out that way. I believe that all our work here is done. Hopefully this should be enough to get the criminal charged.